Robert K. Merton's Social Theory and Social Structure, a Comprehensive Analysis. Robert K. Merton's Social Theory and Social Structure stands as a cornerstone of sociological thought, offering profound insights into the intricate interplay between individual behavior and societal structures. In this detailed exploration, we delve into Merton's seminal work, unpacking key concepts, theories, and their implications for understanding social phenomena. From the concept of social structure to the theory of deviance, Merton's contributions continue to shape sociological discourse and inform our understanding of contemporary society. Understanding social structure. At the heart of Merton's theory lies the concept of social structure, which refers to the patterned arrangements of roles, institutions, and norms that shape social life. Social structures provide the framework within which individuals operate, influencing their behaviors, opportunities, and constraints. For example, the education system, family dynamics, and economic institutions all form part of the social structure and exert influence on individuals' life chances and outcomes. Social roles and role expectations. Merton emphasizes the significance of social roles, which are the expected behaviors, rights, and obligations associated with a particular status or position in society. Each individual occupies multiple roles simultaneously, such as parent, student, employee, or citizen, each with its own set of expectations. For instance, the role of a teacher entails responsibilities such as educating students, maintaining discipline, and facilitating learning, all of which are shaped by societal norms and institutional expectations. Anami and Strain Theory Merton's theory of Anami explores the disjunction between culturally prescribed goals and the means available to achieve them. In societies where there is a mismatch between aspirations for success and the legitimate avenues to attain it, individuals may experience strain and frustration leading to Anami. For example, in a society that values material wealth and success but lacks opportunities for social mobility, Individuals may resort to unconventional means, such as crime or innovation, to achieve their goals. Modes of Adaptation Building upon the concept of Anami, Merton identifies five modes of individual adaptation to the strain caused by the disjunction between goals and means. Conformity involves accepting both cultural goals and the institutionalized means of achieving them while innovation entails pursuing goals through unconventional or illegitimate means. Ritualism involves rigid adherence to the means without pursuing the goals, while retreatism and rebellion represent forms of rejecting both goals and means, albeit in different ways. Theory of Deviance Merton's theory of deviance posits that deviant behavior occurs when individuals adapt to the strain of anami by engaging in non-conformist behaviors. Deviance can take various forms, from minor infractions of social norms to serious criminal offenses. For example, individuals facing limited opportunities for economic advancement may turn to illicit means, such as theft or drug trafficking, to achieve financial success, thereby violating societal norms and laws. Criticisms and Contemporary Relevance while Merton's theories have been influential in shaping our understanding of social phenomena, they are not without criticisms. Some scholars argue that Merton's focus on individual adaptation overlooks the role of structural factors, such as class, race, and gender, in shaping opportunities and constraints. Additionally, Merton's theories have been criticized for their limited consideration of cultural diversity and historical context. However, despite these criticisms, Merton's work remains highly relevant in contemporary sociological research. His theories offer valuable insights into the mechanisms of social change, the dynamics of social inequality, and the complexities of human behavior. From studies of corporate fraud to analyzes of urban poverty, Merton's framework continues to inform research and policy discussions across various domains. Conclusion. In conclusion, Robert K. Merton's Social Theory and Social Structure stands as a seminal work in the field of sociology, offering a comprehensive framework for understanding the dynamics of social life. 
by examining concepts such as social structure, social roles, anami, and deviance. Merton provides valuable insights into the interplay between individual agency and societal structures. While his theories have faced criticism, they remain influential in shaping sociological discourse and informing our understanding of contemporary society.